Alright guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to go from grams to grams using a balanced equation. Okay. Now, when you read the problem it says that it's asking you how many grams of hydrogen. Okay. So since it's asking how many grams of hydrogen are needed, then you come over here and you find hydrogen. So you put a number sign and a G underneath hydrogen are needed to produce 68 grams of ammonia. Now this is ammonia right here. And see they get they have given us that information. That's 68 grams of ammonia. Now notice that I've put in the 68 grams of ammonia underneath the 2NH3. Okay. I've also put a number sign to represent the question of how many okay how much or how many right there and I put grams for the symbol G underneath the hydrogen and anyway after that what I'm going to do is take the 68 grams of the NH3 and start that with my given but what, what I'm also going to do is I'm also going to put the molar mass of NH3 above it They've, they were nice enough to give that to me so my molar mass of my NH3 is 12.031 grams and they tell me the molar mass of my H2 which they were nice enough to give me is also 2.01488 grams okay so I've got every piece of information that I would ever need to work this problem labeled on my balanced equation okay that helps because it saves time because I'm not going to go back up here and reread all this so I'm going to start by writing 68 grams of NH3 down and putting it over 1 now watch this just like all the other problems if this is grams of NH3 grams of NH3 will go down here okay now what is grams of NH3 well here is where we would write the molar mass the molar mass of NH3 is 12.031 grams in H3 which that is known as the molar mass of ammonia so therefore I'm going to write one mole of NH3 up here now after I do that I'm going to write moles again down here moles of NH3 now this is the second time you've written the word moles so that's a big hint that you're going to use a molar ratio. Now look where we've written all our information down. We've written it down on these two things here. So if you look at this, there's a 2 here in front of the NH3. That means I've got 2 moles of NH3. But how many moles of H2 do I have here? Well, there it is. I've got 3 moles of H2. Okay? Now, if I wanted moles, I would stop right there, and that would be grams to moles. But they asked me to go from grams to grams. So I've got to keep going. Okay. Down here I'm going to write one mole of H2. Now let me tell you why I'm going to write just one mole of H2 down there and not three. Okay. The only time on mole that you do not write a one uh, is in the balanced equation. If you look at the coefficients. Like if you had to write a mole here it would be one mole of N2. This would be three moles of H2 and two moles of NH3. At any other point, on the very first mole you'll write a one, and on the very last mole you'll write a one. But anything in the middle, it can be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, whatever the coefficients are. Okay, that happens on the second and the third one. Okay, the second or third time that you write moles, that's when you use these coefficients. Now I need grams of H2. That'll be up here. Grams of H2 will be two. 0.01488 grams of H2. Okay. After that, we need to multiply these together on top and divide on the bottom. Uh, so we need a calculator, which uh, I don't know if I've got handy. Oh, I've got one here. Oh, let's see. Uh, I think this one may be dead. I don't have a calculator. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll punch it on the on the computer. You just won't be able to see it. Um, I don't know what happened to my TI-83 that I had on my desk. Okay, so let's see. We've got 68 
uh, times three times two point oh one four eight eight and I end up with this is just the top number four hundred and eleven point oh three five five two divided by and on the bottom I'm going to divide by twelve point oh uh, three one and I'm going to divide by two and I end up uh, getting whoops I didn't so I didn't punch in that last one I'm sorry that was 24 point I can't see it on my so I have to do this real quick 24.062 on the calculator which finally gives me 17.08 uh, Five oh five nine four, yada yada yada. All right. So anyway, this is what's on my uh, computer screen on the calculator, and uh, they have two sig figs here in the beginning. So I need two sig figs in the end. So that'd be a nice seventeen grams of H two, and that will be my answer. Now only these first two were important. I can't round there, so that's how I got that answer of seventeen grams of H two. And this is going from grams to grams uh, conversion with a balanced equation. Okay, guys, I hope that helps.